what we must do. I know I'm always like crazy. Y'all be like, that's not me crazy. But that's because I believe this thing. Not only do I believe it, y'all, somebody say, I'm living it. I'm living it. I, I want you, I need to. Y'all sit down. Mama, like, I don't want to sit down. I, got, I need you to sit down, Mama, get in more and more trouble. Even though. I, can I give a couple? Can I check? I say something real quick for we. I know we about to move to impact. I know y'all already prepared for impact, so just let me have a minute. Because cause, we're not going to preach a full sermon. I keep trying not to preach a full sermon. But then the praise team got up and preached talk about some good news. I, I, that blew my mind. I don't know if anybody was paying attention, but that, that song blew my mind. I mean, that wasn't the gospel itself. All right. Can I, can I give you a couple testimonies, a couple stories real quick? Just real quick. Um, two, one. Uh, let's start with this one. The other day, my daughter, oh, there she go. Hey, Peyton. Wait a minute, everybody. Ain't she pretty? Yep, she's pretty. Um, she, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember if you were here. I'm a, okay. Um, youth Day. Youth Day, she gave an inspirational message. Um, I don't remember the exact title she used, but the concept was, don't worry about what it looks like. Ain't that what we just saw? Amen. And that you had to trust that God will make it bigger. Basically, that's, that's literally what she preached, right? It's literally what she preached the song. I didn't know they was going to sing that, so that's really God confirming I need to share this with you. So anyway, the other day, the other day, unbeknownst to me, she tried out for this team, this competitive cheer team. I didn't know about that. She was doing volleyball all the time. Remember y'all, they told her she was too short. And she was like, how you going to tell me I'm too short when I'm better than the people that's tall? So you rather have, her words, you rather have somebody tall that suck or somebody short that's good. Her words, not mine. So anyway, thought it was hilarious and true. Okay. The other day, she decided from somewhere, I don't know, that she was going to join this competitive cheer team. Well, try out for this competitive cheer team. And I don't know if she really expected to get the team or what, but anyway, and I didn't, because I didn't even know she tried out. She came to me the other day and she was like, Dad, I'm like, what's up? She's like, I made, the team, I made the team. I'm like, what team? <laughs> I didn't even know you tried out for a team. She's like, competitive cheer. I'm like, oh, well, great. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Like, the top of a page making a team. Amen. Competitive cheer. Amen. Because, why? Because all we do is win. Anyway, I'm leave that alone. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. So, even when it looks like we didn't, God already set up to where we did. So that's, but let me give you her version. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She, we were, in, were standing in the hallway and she says, she's like, I made the team. I'm like, bet, that's dope. She was like, my word worked. And I was like, yeah, baby, that's good. That's what's up. So I'm, I'm hyped with her like, oh, that's what's up. So I hug her and I go into the restroom and use the bathroom. She's like, oh, yes, yeah. so is she excited? And the Holy Spirit dropped some of my spirit while I was using the bathroom, believe it or not. And I went back to her, I said, pay. She said, yes. I said, can I, take, can I say something to you? I said, I got one thing to say to you. She said, what? I said, I'm so proud of you. I said, you know how you said my word worked? She said, yeah. I said, I want you to switch one thing. His word worked. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. See, because y'all missed it. See? And actually, not worked. She said, my word works. Let me correct it because it's important that we hear it right. And I said, I said, you're right. I said, the only thing is, it's his word that works. I said, so every time you face anything in life and it don't feel right, don't look right, you don't know what to do, I want you to remember that his word works. No, somebody missed it. That's why he said, I won't be moved by what I see. I'm going to keep my eyes on what you showed me. Because even though it looked like failure, even though it looked like I wasn't going to make it, I am convinced from a 13-year-old, 14-year-old, that she told me that she's had her own experience with the King of Kings and his word works. Hey, I have a hope shot. Y'all going to mess with me up in here. So I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how bad I may think it is. I am standing on what God said because his word 
works. Somebody ought to get excited. If that was it, if I was you, that would make me jump on my feet. Because sometimes I get confused and sometimes I get a little bit of doubt and sometimes it don't feel good and sometimes it's uncomfortable. But then I'm reminded that his word. Okay, all right. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all sit down, you're acting up. Sit down, you're acting up, you're acting up. It works. But you got to believe it for it to work. Why? Because according to your faith. <sighs> Y'all getting me in trouble. All right. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, you can ask. And this ain't just happening in the pulpit. Shayla, stand up. This Shayla Spears, this Shayla. Clap up for Shayla, y'all. Thank you, Shayla. Shayla had an event yesterday, uh, God in business, kingdom business. Had some speakers come in. Actually, Danny Yaz was on the panel. We had all business owners, entrepreneurs, young people, discussing God and business and the kingdom assignment. She didn't know what to expect. She said, Pastor, man, I'm nervous. I don't know what to expect. I don't know who's the concept. But she said, but the Lord told me to do it. And we prayed beforehand. There's about three people there, four, about six people there at the attendance that was there at the time. Before, she, before it was time to start, we prayed. And the Holy Spirit was sharing with me. He said, it's your obedience that matters. It don't matter who show up. It don't matter the outcome because God told you to do it. It's his job to take care of it. She said, okay, she said, I'm just nervous. I don't know. I said, don't worry about it. I said, it's your obedience. That's all you got to worry about is your obedience. And then next thing you know, people was coming in, coming in, Coming in, coming in. She goes to these events, and people's lives are getting blessed. People are uh, connecting and, and networking and sharing cards and praying for each other. They prophesying. It's all these people who are just trying to find a way to live their life and fund the kingdom. At the end of the day, the Lord placed it upon my heart to get up there and say, now we got to bless this woman. Because she did this not knowing what to expect, being obedient to God. And God needs to show her that all I need is your obedience. I don't even need your money. I don't need, I need your obedience. And I ain't get a report from her, but I would like to believe that she had, she was able to be obedient to God and came nothing out of her pocket. Because God who says, I will fund what you say yes to. Nope, y'all missing it. Because a lot of times we pull back on God because we're trying to count what we can do. And God says, if I could just get you to trust me, if I could just get you to say yes, if I could just get you to be obedient, then I'll take care of the rest. My question is, do I have a people who will obey me? Some of us are stuck because we're doing too much calculating. He said, but now the time has come for a people who will trust me. If that's you, can you do it? Not for me. Just stand to your feet. Give God a hand clap and a praise as we transition. If you say, God, I will trust you. I will trust you. Come on, y'all. I'm going to be good. Wow. Come on, you. put your hands together. Those of you here, come on, give the Lord a real praise. My, 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 my. Come on. I praise him till you feel his presence. Yeah. Come on, praise him until you feel his presence. Come on, praise him until you feel his presence. He's in the building. Come on, come on. He's in the building. Come on. Thank God for you watching by way of streaming. It's exciting. You may be seated. This won't take us long today. I'm a certain that it won't. I was sitting there listening to Pastor Matt and seeing the exciting things about what God does. And I said, this is what this day is all about. In the kingdom of heaven, the currency in the kingdom of heaven is faith. Nothing works in the kingdom of heaven, which is spiritual and tangible, except by faith. And as a family and as a pastor or father for 43 years 
I said to myself, if I'm not able to inspire your faith, then we failed each other. Because the way to advance in the kingdom of heaven is having faith. Faith is the ability to believe without sense ram evidence. And so what we're doing today, you can't see it. You just got to believe it. But how do I believe it? I believe it by faith. By God's revelation. What he's sent to my heart. That's what it's all about. And other folks say it don't make sense. And that absolutely right because this is beyond sense this is faith I was looking at them and saying Lord these babies are still coming you've given us over and above what we asked for you know I think that Sunday impact Sunday I think we were soaring for three babies and I, I think since then we've got about seven and it's four or five in the belly still look at it <laughs> She waiting on that. Come on, give Trey, Amen. Latrey, the drummer, Amen, and his lovely wife. I know how you feel, Doc. He told me, he "said Bishop, I got a son." <laughs> Come on, <laughs> I got a son, something to live for. And all the stars, it's faith. It's all about faith, and I see. One of the things that people don't understand, and I'm, tr I'm trying not to preach, but I feel like what happens in most families, Brother Miller, is they don't talk. They don't, they don't share. They don't accept that we all have something we're dealing with, so we won't talk. But love is supposed to be unconditional, so you should be able to talk in spite of what's going on. And, and, and so... If we're real, if we're a family, then we should be able to talk. Even if we don't agree, we should be able to talk. And I'm like, man, it's a waste of time if, if I can't inspire you and help you understand that the currency of the kingdom is faith and allow you to think that you don't have to have faith to be successful in the kingdom would be an injustice to you and a waste of my time. And, and so... Everybody hasn't got to the place of believing yet what we're talking about here. But those of us who can, we need to believe so God can display his glory. That's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Some folks say they believe, but their needs are stronger than their beliefs. And so because their needs are stronger than their belief, their behavior cannot function along with their faith. My needs are so great that my faith can't handle my actions. That's okay. Tell them, say, that's okay. We love you anyway. It's okay. It's okay. So I'm excited about your future. Amen. About your future. Uh, God works. And we can give testimonies after testimonies, but experience the experience. So put your hands together so I shut up. Y'all didn't clap like you wanted me to shut up. Come on, do it real good. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember back in the day, uh, Brother Miller, you know, we was trying to learn how to cross denominations. That was back in the 80s. And so I had the privilege of going to this church. I won't name the name of the church, but I was invited to preach. And so I got up. And I say, uh, uh, I'm going to try to say what the Lord had me say. I say, when you get tired of me, clap real loud or say amen. Amen. Say amen. And I know you want me to shut up. And before I could give my text, the lady jump holler, <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Okay. She ain't made it yet. <laughs> So I'm praising the name of the Lord. We're having a good time in the Lord. God is good. Something really unique is about to happen to a person in this session. He said, what is that, Bishop? Your faith is about to take you somewhere. Come on, give the Lord a praise. Let's set the stage here.
for our newcomers and those who are watching while we're streaming. The way we do this, it's just a Sunday of Impact Sunday as we believe we are blessed to be a blessing. And Impact Sunday Sunday when we actually sow into the ministry of God and we're able to do great things. And uh, I, I was looking and I'm, I was telling Pastor, I said, I'm almost to get depressed. She said, what's the matter? I said, I looked and seen that we gotten so happy that we gave out over $100,000 more than we taken in. And I said, as leader, that disturbs me. <laughs> but you have to give. Come on now, y'all ain't like me. To be able to receive. That's us. So we're going. Here's how we do this. Uh, we have, first of all, every person who's going to participate, amen, is going to come to the mic and they're going to share your name or your family. And we're sowing X amount of dollars, amen. And you will give credit and we'll keep a tally and we'll do that. And so you can come up to Mike when you get ready to give us and uh, share with that. And we're going to get out of your way. Our goal today, amen, we're asking God for $100,000. Say 100000 See, I didn't ask you for the whole hundred, but 100000 Amen. Turn your name and say, get in where you fit in. That's all you have to do. And, uh, and so if you have goals, you never know if you reach them. Amen. And so those who will come, we will share. And then we have what we call a silent table. Amen. Over here where these three lovely young ladies are quietly waiting. Uh, for those of you who don't want to publicly announce uh, what you're giving, but you want to certainly participate, you can do that. We honor your spirit uh, to do that and just go over to the table. Amen. And also we have what we call the sovereign mic. The sovereign mic is for those who intended to give one thing, but God inspired them or spoke to them or prompted them to give more. Or if you've given one time and then God and prompt you to give something else. Uh, giving, your financial giving is your seed. We tell people to name your seed. Amen. It will represent you, amen, in the kingdom. And that's what it was about. Also we have where you can call in Amen. And uh, they're monitoring the phone if you want to use your credit card instead of the other pass waves that we happen to get. And they will wait and then we'll announce what's going on. And so we're going to simply do it like that. And um, based on your need or based on your faith, we're going to give and we're just going to believe God and say this, we're going to accept what God does. Is that all right? We're going to accept what God does. Amen. We're going to accept what God does. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I feel an anointing here. Can I touch you? Come on, your, your, your head's troubled. Your blessings, your supernatural blessings is always beyond your trouble. And you have to learn how to go through trouble in order to get to your blessings. But trouble promotes us. Because trouble makes us go beyond where we are. And so I want you to know, in spite of your troubles, you at the greatest place in your life. You at a place of promotion. But it's only if you have faith. And I just wanted to touch you. I just, I, you know, one man to another man. And understanding the, the stuff that the enemy would put upon you. And, and you like, where are you, God? Kind of stuff, you feel what I'm saying? He's just around that trouble. Father, in Jesus' name. As simple as that. As simple as that. As simple as that. Come on. You can just go <laughs> back to your seat. Amen. Ella Logan, stand up and just say, he'll do it. Won't he do it? Hit the top. That's the voice of the, of the fountain. Come on, give the Lord a real praise. Amen. Did I miss something, Pastor? Hey, come on. Okay. Yes, a couple quick, quick, quick administrative things. First one, 
Uh, Bishop didn't give it the phone number for those watching online who would like to call. Uh, don't call in the service. we hear you talking. Um, so those of you watching online, call in 313-839-5200. Secondly, for everyone in the room, when you come to the mic with your seed, um, if you're giving via Cash App, please say Cash App. Um, myself and my family, we're believing God for this. Our seed is blank, Cash App. Follow me? Do that for whatever electronic pathway you decide to use, whether it's Cash App, text to give, PayPal, or website, online. You can say online even because we have obviously a website. But if you're giving with the envelope, then you don't have to say anything. Just place your envelope in the basket. Does that make sense? Y'all good? I know you're prepared, uh, and I think that's just about all that we have to say. Can I start? We can, we can line them up. Okay, let's go. Oh, the wheel's coming. 313-839-5200. And they put it on the screen right there. So, amen. Thank you. How y'all doing? Come on, put those hands together and give God great big praise for what he's about to do. Amen. Y'all, y'all way too quiet. Somebody shout, I'm expecting a miracle. I didn't hear nobody. Somebody shout, I'm expecting a miracle. I was... I was sitting over there minding my business and I was into that last song exceedingly abundantly but then my wife reminded me that the scripture says exceeding abundantly so kind of break it up right so whatever you think he gonna do whatever you think God's limit is he's gonna do more than that Yo, I ain't heard nobody say no I said whatever you think God can do he can do more than that God, I'm gonna let me teach you for 30 seconds. Can I have 30 seconds? They ain't paying attention, so I'm taking 30 seconds. There are generally speaking, generally speaking, four types of miracles. Four types of miracles. All miracles fall up. Don't say that because I'll teach longer. Four miracles fall into four categories. One, the category number one, the expulsion of when Jesus is involved. Jesus performed miracles in four categories. One, exercising or healing people from demons or demonic spirits, number one. Number two, he uh, performed miracles over nature. And then number three, miracles over supply, uh, supply and demand. And then number four, miracles over healing. He would heal somebody. He would bless somebody. He would bring them back to life. And the one thing I discovered within those two branches of miracles, miracles over supply and miracles over healing, healing or miracles over someone's body that we had to bring him something this is where y'all gonna miss it I'm trying to help you miracles over supply or miracles uh, 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 where he would bring give you something first you had to bring him something and whatever you brought him he was able to exceed abundantly over what you brought him all right let me let me let me teach it to you when they when he turned water into wine they brought him water but he turned it into 1902 or whatever it was back then. He turned it into some fancy, some fancy wine. When he was feeding the 5,000 and the 4,000, they just brought him two fish. But he fed five. When he healed somebody and brought them back to life, he brought, they brought him somebody sick or somebody that was dead. He took something that was dead and brought it back to life. I like that line because that's in one of my favorite movies, The Night at the Smithsonian, when he was standing there and say, back to life. This is your chance to get involved. And you get to name your seed. You get to say, I'm going to bring you something, God, and whatever it is that was dead in my life, I need you to bring it back. Back to life, back to life. My financial situation is dead, bring it back to life. My career is dead, bring it back to life. My dreams and hopes are dead, bring it back to life. Bring it back to life. I, I see that 30 seconds, right? That was 30 seconds, I'm good, Bishop. <laughs> Somebody put those hands together and said, I'm believing God to bring something back to life. He's going to heal somebody. We got miracles of babies running around. And I'm so glad Bishop said there was more babies. But guess what? Ain't none of mine, just grandbabies. So he's going to bring somebody some babies and grandbabies. He's going to heal somebody of cancer and disease. All because you believe that you brought him something, expecting him to do exceeding <laughs> abundantly. Bless. He think he's getting away? 
them grandbabies going to get more than the baby's got. He had no idea. <laughs> Kiana got him straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Come on, one more time. Put your hands together. It's time for us to get started. Thank you so much. Y'all forgive us for being preachers. You know what preachers do. They just preach. That, that's all we do. Amen. We do preach and we hope and pray that we yeah. say something that will make sense. Amen. Or, or activate your faith and cause you. Those of us who are going to participate, you may stand now. Amen. You can go simply to the aisles and um, line up and according to your faith, sow your seed. Amen. And um, we're going to move on into the service. And we're going to enjoy ourselves. You may help yourself. And, and those who are going to observe, yes, praise God. Just pray for us. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you're not participating, just don't hate. Don't hate. <laughs> if you don't participate, just don't hate. Amen. If you don't participate. But at least be a part of what God is doing. Uh, wisdom is powerful. Wisdom. Wisdom comes through experience. And so we're so grateful. Hopefully we've been clear. Um, Pastor and I, I just, I don't believe in doing asking people to do any more than I'm willing to do myself so passing out and start the offering off with sowing a seed for twenty five hundred dollars come on <laughs> yeah and uh amen yeah. praise the name of the Lord and uh our faith is going somewhere and praise the name of the Lord all right I gotta find my money I mean my fine okay. anyway can I put it in this basket yes sir okay Nah, you better put it in the other basket. Put it in the other <laughs> basket. <laughs> oh, well, look at you. Can we oh, go Jones to the mission? Huh? Can we, should we go to? Yeah. My, my, my wife and I and my family, we're going to start off too with $2,000. Amen? All right. We're on our way. Praise the name of the Lord. All right. Jones? Yes, I'm believing God for my husband's final surgery to get scheduled so he can get that kidney. I'm oh. so on $100. Praise the Lord, $100. Cash out. Cash out. Great job. Cash out. Thank you. Kidney. Do you believe for that? For Amen. a kidney. Barb? I'm, my name is Barb Matthews. I'm sewing $300 for what God's already showed me. And I know it's going to be bigger. Come on. I feel it in my spirit. Right. It's going to be bigger. Bigger. $300. 300 Come on. Give the Lord a real praise. Yeah. All right, Garris. Gary family, we're sewing $400 cash out for financial increase in new job opportunities. Amen. Praise the Lord, $400. 400. Cash out, Come $400 on. cash out. Come on. The Logans? Yeah, the Logans. And so we're sewing $500 via the debit card. This seed is for more than just my voiceover, but it's a lot of things that I'm doing with my voice already. Right. And so I just want to flood not only the state of Michigan with my voice, but the entire Midwest as well. Amen. Come on, give the Lord five hundred dollars. Come on. Well, the berries in town. Yeah, this is hey. the Barry family. Uh, we're gonna sow a seed of a hundred dollars just for just being thankful. Honestly. Being grateful. Amen. All right. Come on, give them a praise. Thank you. Cash out. What, what yeah, about cash berry cash fit? Huh? What about the growth of berry fit? Yeah, that's it's, it's gonna come. No, no, you gotta say that. I already do that, but I'm just saying Take the seed is for thankful. See, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's Praise my the man. Lord. That's my man. All right, let's go back over this side. My name is Bertie Clark, and um, I had prayed for one thing from God, but He told me to ask for what I wanted. So I'm asking for a new home, a four bedroom brick mat brick. Ranch style home. I'm showing a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. <laughs> Name that scene. Who's this pretty lady here? <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Sharice McAdoo, and I'm sewing two hundred dollars via Cash App for full time entrepreneurship and for my mom being healed from cancer for the third time. Come on, let's hey, give the Lord a we'll do it praise again. the Lord. It is so. Dr. King. Yes, sir. We're the Kings, and we're showing a hundred dollars for. The healing and development of heavenly marriages. Yeah. Healing and development of heavenly marriages. Is that a ministry? Debit card. Debit card. That's a, is that a ministry, y'all sign? Heavenly marriages. Is that a ministry? Just for the healing yeah. and deliverance. We know that the families have been going through, okay, marriages have oh, been okay. going through. Yeah. I got it. Thank you. Give him another praise. Amen. I heard it wrong. Amen. Brother Miller? Uh, the Miller family uh, saw on $400. Continue your blessings. Come on now, give the Lord a real praise. 
$400, amen. I'm Michiko and Ken Johnson. We're sewing $1,000 for Ken and I, total healing. Total healing, $1,000. We, we didn't say where we was going to shout at. We just going to feel it, huh? Okay, let me know. Let me know when you feel it. <laughs> Come on. Hey, so last Giving Sunday, uh, we were praying for our new home and our baby. Uh, we did close on our house October 2nd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Come on, and, don't uh, cheat. Like, tell us where you live now. Tell us where you live. Uh, we're out on 21 and 94, Chesterfield. <laughs> Brand new. <laughs> Um, and then uh, my wife, we were praying for our fertility journey, and uh, she went back to the doctor last week. They said that she had a, needed surgery to get something removed, and it was gone. So, come on in, <laughs> come on in. Yeah. Oh, we had enough people yeah. shouting in here. <laughs> we had enough people acting a fool up in here. Y'all gotta act like y'all done lost your mind. Come on now. You got to give us something for that. Come on. Praise the so name of the Lord. So we are sewing $300 via cash out for the Mason baby. Come on, the Mason baby. $300 cash out the Mason baby. Bishop, what they saw something that they need to do surgery on, but then it wasn't there. I heard it. I don't know if y'all remember, we released that thing on this house. When they go to look for it, it ain't going to be there. They go. I know they saw it with their own eyes, but when you go to look for it, it ain't gonna be there. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna, listen, all right. Somebody ought to get their faith up. Yeah, While you got yeah. your eyes focused on one thing, yeah, my yeah. God says, I will find the thing you really need, and that's the thing I'm gonna deliver you from. I'm getting out yeah, the way. Yeah, tell them, look again. Go back and say, look again. Look again. Tell them, look again. What you said you saw, God said, ain't there. Tell them, look again. Well, John, wait, wait. Okay. That was a shot right there, but I'm gonna, we gonna, we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. No, man. Come on, John. Come on, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta shot. I think we gotta praise God right there. I think that's another reason. See, hold on. Put your hands together.
Let every day. Let every day. Praise the Lord. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let every day. Let every day. Praise the Lord. Now y'all know I know how to burn it. Let every day. Praise the Lord. If you don't know it, Go back over here. Shayla, I'm sewing for a good health, financial increase, and my husband coming. And your husband. And her husband. You better $100. say that. A hundred dollars. You better say that. Ah, come on now. Good morning. Blair family is sewing $200. This is for total healing in my mind and in my body, obedience, for favor and blessings continued on my children, and financial breakthrough. Yeah. Come on. Give yeah. the Lord a praise. Yeah. Let's go back over here. Hey, daughter. My name is Tiffany. Today. I am sewing. <laughs> I'm sewing for my kids' businesses and my own. Tiffany's Home Health Care. I want to expand. And I'm sewing for, wait a minute, my house as well. Okay. And last but not least, my man, my man, my Come man. Come on. <laughs> you better believe God. <laughs> I'm hey, sewing man. for my husband as well. <laughs> What's hey, the scene? 150. 150. 150. Amen. All right. Praise this the Lord. Via YouTube, Pam Greer, $100. Pam, Pam Greer, $100. all right. Yeah. Got someone join us on YouTube. All right. All right. You're welcome. Anything you hear on Facebook? We good? Nope, nothing on Facebook yet. Facebook. Oh, Where right. you at? Come on. Cecile? Jackie Steele sewing $50 for my husband's total healing and mega, mega financial increase for us. In yeah. All right. Amen. In Jesus Come on, name. give the Lord the praise. Name. Amen. Huh? You want to come to the well, show? Well, come on in. Let all the earth be silent. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Pastor Camelia Taylor, amen. I had made up my mind Friday. I went to the credit union and got my $100 that I was going to give an impact. We got in the service. I was so tired when I got here. Huh. But I'm believing God today. I receive all that the word says. Today I'm sowing for total healing in my body, yeah. for increase in my finances, yeah. and for God to bring them children back to the Lord. Yes. yes. What's your seed? What's your seed? I'm sorry. Hundred dollars. My seed is two hundred dollars. There we go. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Celebrate the faith. Hey, daughter. This is Cheryl London. Um, I'm sowing the seed. Two hundred dollars. Uh huh. For kingdom wisdom in my body and wisdom and ideas for our entrepreneurship. Come on now, give it the Lord $200. That's what I'm talking and about. And I'm sewing it on the app. And you're sewing on the app. Cash app. Found that. I got it. All right, let's be over here with the Turners. The Turner family is sewing $300 cash app. Uh, wife will give the, the area. Financial increase and okay. uh, new business ideas and our new home. And then we're going to sew an extra $25 for the Mason's Baby. Hey! Come on hey, now! Okay. Mason's Baby! Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold it just a minute. We got a sovereign mic up here right now. Hey. Pops. Good morning. How y'all doing? <laughs> oh, man. It's something about this giving service and the application of all our knowledge that we get from leadership that really work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been here seven years and I've sold into plenty of giving services, so I really could talk a long time about <laughs> how God has been good for me, to me, and how he's, you know, just changed me and given me, you know, the heart, the desires of my heart. Yeah, yeah. But last time, no, the time before last, we gave for our home and our baby. And 
throughout the house process, like, these houses is kind of cool. We got approved for a certain amount, and we got approved for houses, and it's like, I don't, I'm, no, they just wasn't sitting right. Like, I know my God is amazing, and I know we can get a lot more than what we were getting at the time. We just have to remain patient, and that's been this season for me. But also about our kid, that's a long story too. They tried to tell my wife she got endometriosis. They tried to tell her she got PCOS. And I'm like, bro, no you don't. Like, stop telling me that. Like, like go on with that. Like, you ain't got none of that. You just need to go take a nap. Let's get healthier and all of that. So that's what we began to do. And on Thursday, we got said baby. He is at home resting. Yeah. 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 And it's like, it's so amazing. Like, I didn't even know I wanted a baby. Like, I was cool with just her. And the Lord said, no, here you go. This is what you need. And we're giving $300. I know I'm probably up here rambling. But, and we're giving it $300 for our continued financial increase. We've already seen financial yeah. increase. Um, I'm also oh, giving for my skill set as a long-term investor um, to be able to make the right decisions at the proper time. Um, so we're giving $300 for all of those things. And I just want to thank God. I want to thank leadership for just, you know, bestowing in me, you know, what I can do and knowing that it's possible. And if y'all just listen to what they say and apply, 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 apply what they say, you will get it. You got to be patient, because God gonna move when he want to, but God don't miss. Thank you. Amen. That's it. Yeah. And your wife said on Facebook, amen, hubby. She amen, said amen, hubby. hubby. Amen, amen. She amen. agrees, amen. Amen. Now, I think we left with you, daughter. Come on now. Hi, um, I'm Tane, and I'm sowing $50 for my seed towards financial freedom, uh, multiple streams of income, and just bigger. I've been praying for bigger for yeah. ever, and I want bigger in every part of my life and my family life, and more people saved than my family. Hey, All right, come on, hey. give the Lord a praise. $50. Absolutely. We over here with this Chris sister here. My name is Sherry Jones. I'm sowing my seed for my daughter Mary and my grandkids to come back together because they feel like I've never seen them before. I just need God to come here to take charge. I've donated $100. $100. $100. Amen. Amen. We agree families. with you. We Amen. agree with you. Amen. We will. We're scoring families. Amen. All right. Come on. Hello. Um, I'm sowing um, the Bell family. Yeah. I'm sowing $50. Um, we're asking God to heal my son from his skin disease. Um, we're asking God for a new house, and we're just asking God to just continue to keep us, keep our minds, and just stay with us. Come on, give the Amen. Lord a praise. Fifty dollars. We went out, huh? Right here. I'm sorry. We got a couple online. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, Pastor Harold and Lady C, five hundred dollars cash out. We also have. The, uh, the bass player, Devin Whitehead and family, $200. Okay, all right. We have the, uh, the Jones family in Texas, Dave and Naomi Jones and family, $1,000. Okay, $1,000. Amen. So for the France family, uh, we're sewing uh, for uh, debt cancellation. We want to pay our house off in less than the next five years. Yes. Just so we can spoil. Amen. Our grandson, right? We, I'm, call, I'm calling it out. I'm Come calling on. out. Grandson. Okay. My grandson, whatever, more grandchildren. I want to spoil them. So I want to have that debt available for them. Yes. That money available for them. And uh, so we're sowing $1,000 for that debt cancellation. I'm also going to sow $100 for that Mason baby. Hey, Come on. Yeah, Mason All right. baby. $1,100. That was a cash out. A thousand cash out. Cash, cash out. Cash out. And 100 for the Mason baby. For the Mason baby. All right, sweetheart. Um, hi, I'm Adrian, and this is Kay. Um, hey. First, we want to just thank God for uh, one year of home ownership. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Um, we are believing God for uh, first a new refrigerator for this home. Yes, ma'am. And then um, I'm just asking God to uh, heal my family. We've been going through a rough patch since we had some passes. So I'm just healing my family and then for um, acceleration in my career. Amen. Uh, I'm so I'm Amen. sorry. I'm a, I'm so on $125. I got that $25 on that Mason baby. Hey. All right. On the Mason baby. Get in on the Mason baby. Yeah. Follow. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There's so many things to thank God for, but during the uh, praying for family, when Bishop had uh, the staff and uh, Pastor Brenda and Pastor Matt, everybody was praying for family. So I was sitting there waiting for my turn to get with the families. So uh, Jeanette, Sister Jeanette Jones called me. And I began to tell her about my family. My son uh, was in Georgia, Jeremiah, and he had to go get out the truck and go in the hospital, you know, blood pressures and all that. And uh, she prayed for me, with me, her and another young lady. And I just wanted to say that uh, she said, she spoke of that, when you get out of here, you're going to run right into him. You're going to see him. I didn't have no idea that he'd be up here and driving his truck. And he, when I got out, I went right over to my son's house, and he was there, walked to the car. I didn't know who he was. And that was his 18-wheeler out there on the road. So I'm just continuing to pray for him and my family and other family. And also, Sister Jeanette Jones, I want to sow a seed here for your husband's kidneys, okay? God bless us and so on, uh, $200 seat. Amen. Amen. $200. dollars Amen. Uh, Bishop uh, Pam Greer sold $100 earlier, but she wanted to give her seed an assignment. So she said she sold for a new home, continued family unity in Jesus' name. And all the way from Texas, uh, Elder Stan and Karen, next level of living and no lack, $1,000 on the Fountain app from Elder Stan and Karen Sims all the way from Texas. All right, come on, that's 1100 together, okay. All right, amen, praise the Lord. It's so good to be here, yeah, yeah. hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to say that first. But uh, I, I have $25 I'm going to show via PayPal for my entrepreneurship and my business. Um, I'm looking for great ideas. I already have one, and I'm pursuing it, and I'm looking forward to God blessing it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. In Jesus name, and amen. I'm Minister Cynthia Pickens, amen. <laughs> amen. All right. Come on, lady with the fuchsia. <laughs> amen. Elder Yvette Edwards, I am sewing $200 for a financial miracle and my handsome husband. All right. All right. She got a handsome husband. <laughs> handsome. Okay. Amen, amen. All right. The Ashford the family. Sewing for financial increase in business ideas. And we're going to sew $50 for the Mason baby. So that's $400 cash up and $50 cash for Mason baby. All right. Amen. Come on, give the Lord praise. Let's go to this cash guy here. 50 cash, 50 in house. Um, good morning, Fountain family. This is from uh, Sister Carla Wood Green. She's okay. sewing $50, text to give, and I'm going to speak on her behalf, I guess, for blessings for her whole family and health. Right, right, okay. right. Okay. Now, this is from the Johnson family. This is from me and Darius, and I am sewing and believing God and thanking him right now in advance for our funeral home and for healing. Yeah. Yeah. And healing for our family. Asher just recently suffered a mild concussion, but we know he's healed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And for me, divine health and healing and just prosperity for yes. us to be able to sow into the kingdom. Amen. 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 What's your, How much what's your seed? Oh, I'm $500. There we go. $500. $500. Just before we go to the next person, and we'll come over here to you. From the silent table, uh, we receive $1,060. Dollars. Come on, give hey, the Lord a praise for hey, that. Hey, man, one thousand. Amen. Hold on, Bishop, real quick on Facebook, we have A Marie J. Uh, she says A Johnson. Okay, sewing one hundred dollars on PayPal, praying for a miracle from the Lord, for the motion to be granted in my son Raphael's favor, and give him his freedom. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus Amen. Name. Okay. Nice looking couple right here. Hi, right, this is uh, Michael. This is Angel. And we're just asking God and so on, God. Say it one more time, Mike. Oh, it went off on you. Here we go. So I'm Michael. This is Angel. And we just saw an ex God to uh, direct us as we work towards uh, marriage in our life. And also sowing that God gives us financial overflow, $50. $50. Amen. Praise the Lord. Marriage and overflow. Come on. Come on. Come on, Mike. Come on. Sowing, go ahead, baby. Go ahead. We are also sowing for the healing and the uh, knowledge in my son's life and in school. And that we are canceling the... the um, the diagnosis of ADHD, and we are um, sowing for continued growth um, in school. Amen. All right, Mike, can you come here, you and your fiance? Amen. You gotta be careful what you say in this atmosphere. <laughs> How long y'all been together? Five years. All right. Um, when you want to get married? 2024. You got a date, month? Oh, that's real fast. February 24. Yeah, February. Just a date in February. Huh? February 14th, Valentine's Day. Y'all some kin to Matt? He got married on Valentine's Day too. Really? Right, right, right. right. Really? All right. So how close are we? 50% away. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my building free and I'll do the wedding. So I should push you on over to the hunter, right? You think so? So February 14th, 2024, Mr. and Mrs. Elder. Elder. Come on, give the Lord her help. Right? Call it a done deal then. Come on. Yeah. Somebody ought to make some noise yeah. for a God who will make a way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a real praise. Listen, I just got to say this. It's amazing how God moves, but some people are afraid to say something. But when you say something, you never know what God going to do immediately. I'm going to leave that thing alone. Go ahead. Come on, daughter. I'm giving 200 via cash app. First of all, thanking God for my daughter and my husband's successful surgeries. Secondly, I'm asking for the business that I have ruined in my spirit, Carry Soul Health Academy, to come into fruition and also for my new home. Carry the business. Caring Souls Healthcare Academy. Carry Souls Healthcare Academy. Caring. Caring. Oh, I, I miss all that. <laughs> okay, go out your son. Two hundred. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Okay. All Bishop, right, we're back on this real, side. Hold on, real quick on Facebook, Bishop. We got Alante Jackson, ninety dollars via Cash App for continued growth in his business, emotional release, spiritual wisdom, and health and wealth for his loved ones. Okay. Right, right, right. All That's right. great. Come on, daughter. Hi, my name is Kaya. Um, I'm doing twenty-five dollars for uh, healing of my family. Uh, twenty-five dollars to help with my emotions and my mindset. Come on. And then twenty-five dollars for Shayla's husband. Hey. So that's seventy-five dollars cash. Hey. Come on. Hey. Seventy-five dollars. You got somebody in agreement. Come on now. <laughs> All right, let's go on this side. Uh, the one uh, and only, <laughs> Doctor Lawrence Wask. I'm sorry, Bishop. We're just calling your name. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sewing a hundred dollars for. Um, total and complete healing of my son and uh, five more zeros. Five more zeros onto that $100. $100 with five zeros on it? So it's five zeros added onto it. When you putting that decimal point? Confused. Uh, that, that, that's something like a million dollars, right? Yeah, you you, you sold a million dollars? Yeah, no, he's you sowing four million dollars. Four a million dollars. Lord Jesus. Oh Lord. You got to be clear, Lord. You got to be clear. Who's about to shut the service down? 
got to be very clear. Don't worry, man. I speak gibberish too. That's why I understood. <laughs> yeah. You speak good. gibberish too, That's amen. We, we good? What a mighty God <laughs> we To a million. Amen. Come on. I got a testimony. <laughs> Come on here. Hi, um, Eddie and Destiny Kid. We are sewing five hundred dollars for our new home and yeah. for clarity and a couple business decisions. And then I am also sewing for my glad money as pastor calls it. Um, twenty five dollars for the Mason baby. All hey. right. Hey. Cash out. Cash, cash out. Cash out. Cash out. All right, let's go here. Uh, Carrie Mitchell, I am sewing $500 via Cash App hey. for total healing in my body, um, success with my own personal entrepreneurship pathway, yeah. um, and total career success as I continue to progress. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right, let's receive it. Okay. All right, here we have this lovely couple here. Uh -huh. Good morning, Fountain family. <laughs> um, this is I'm Michael, and this is Shaquille Wolf. Um, we're sewing. Work, sir. <laughs> We're sewing for uh, family unity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Financial increase. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, We're sewing for favor during our legal battles. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and we're just sewing for a, making our great marriage greater. A great marriage. So $100. Yeah. How much? A hundred dollars. We agree, brother. We, we agree. agree. We agree. We agree. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus Hallelujah. Hey, I feel right. you, Mike. I cry too sometimes, bro. I get up here and let them go. I feel you, bro. Greater I cry all the time. I just, I just cry all I the time. Agree. Yes, Woo. sir. Man, something's happening up here. I'm trying to tell you. Something's happening up here. I, Touch your neighbor and say, something's happening in the building. Something's happening. Those, something is happening. We got a lot of folk watching by way of streaming, but I wish you could feel what's happening in here. You might be getting more involved with what's going on in the building. Glory to God. All right. I'm going to leave it alone. Come on, daughter. Hey, Amen. We know uh, Ecclesiastes 10 says that mo money answereth all things. Yeah. And so what we are believing God for is a release. We have some, uh, some money that we are expecting. And if we get the money, yes, it sir. will answer everything. Come on, come on. And so what we want to do is ask the church to come in agreement with us because on, the now. money should have been released Amen. about three weeks ago. Amen. Now Amen. had that money been released, Bishop, we would have shut it down today. Come on. Come on. We would have shut it down. Come on. We want to shut that down today. Amen. So we want the church to come in agreement. Come on. That that money will yes. come, that it will be released yes. this week. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Jesus Amen. Name. Amen. So the Timmons family is sewing $500. Yeah. $500. Yeah. 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 Man, I'm telling you. I'll be a man of God. Something is happening in this atmosphere. The reason we can't sense it because we live in the presence, but God is doing a miracle in your future. He's making things come together. Come on, daughter. I see you making your way to the sovereign mind. 
Come on, give her a hand clap of praise. Let Come the on, Lord Jerry. have his way. Hello again. Please don't mind the fact that I don't have on shoes. <laughs> um, I want to sew another $100 for two things. I was inspired by everybody talking about marriage. I'm believing for my kingdom spouse. Come on. Two, I'm believing okay. that Crown Queens, if you don't know, it started with Destiny and Shayla. Come on. Destiny is now leading. I'm believing that we are going to get a building. In 2024, come on! I'm believing that we're getting a co-working space in 2024, and I believe that God is going to use the women in this room, our sisters, to bring more women to Christ. Come on! Amen. Work. Cash out. Praise the name Amen. of our God. Right Amen. over here. Hey y'all. So hey. hey. <laughs> So my name is Jamie. Um, first, I just want to thank God because last time I was up here, first off, I was broke as a joke. I mean, we still moving up in the world. We in transition. But I was praying about my daughter because she was going through a lot emotionally. And when I say y'all see her now, huh. so I just thank God for that. Come on. So that's first thing. And then also, I just want to just. <sighs> okay, so we're going to make quick. Anywho. So I just want to sow this seed for financial freedom so I can be able to do more with my daughter and give her life that she deserves. Um, in my business, as an author and a speaker, get bulk orders, get this online stuff. And then also, um, I just want to say to the Wolf family, when you said legal, baby, listen, you go get favor. When I tell you, I had two felonies. I am free. I can go do whatever I want to do. Come on. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, I didn't deal with family law, take care of my daddy, with my um, custody stuff. So when I say God is faithful when it comes to law, baby, just, you straight. <laughs> Come on. Yes, he is. Um, and then also, um, I'm just thankful for my new job, which has increased. I'm giving myself three months to be there to um, transition to full-time entrepreneurship. But I'm grateful because at my other job, um, Homeboy was talking to me crazy. I said, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. So I'm like, November 1st, I didn't know if I was going to quit that day or I was going to put my two weeks in. But before that, I got a job offer that had more money. So that's all I got. Twins. Come on. Yeah. What you yeah. sewing? How much you sewing? $20? $20 cash. Oh, and Bishop, that's for my tapping into my provision for my notary. I got two notary appointments yesterday, so that's for that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a real praise. Oh, yeah. Can I say something, Bishop? Real quick, I just want to say this. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. You got to say something. When God moves in your life, don't keep it to yourself. Don't be ashamed of your past. You got to say something. I don't know if you saw what just happened just a second ago. She had an experience with God in a similar area to what they were facing right now and was able to testify. I know it may not look good, but God has already shown up before in this area so you can take that and join that with your faith to know he will he, God does handle legal situations oh yes he does God does have living handle living situations yes, God he does. does handle fertility situations yes, he does. you gotta say something God handles marriage situation God handles family situation so when God shows up for you don't you be ashamed about nothing you've been through you get up and say God did it for me when you tell that God did it for you because somebody is where you've overcome and they need to know that it can be it can happen because it happened for you and the same God that did it for you is the same God that would do it for them so I just want to encourage everybody who saw when it happens you got to say something don't forget don't oh that's old new. no you got to say something because God is trying to get somebody to trust him enough because according to their faith be it unto them Amen, amen. From the phone call in, from the phone, Star Massey, Star Massey, uh, $60. $60, $60 she called yes. in, amen. Phone calls, uh, Star Massey. 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 Okay, come on, give the Lord, oh, come on, give the Lord a real praise. <laughs> Brother Johnson, go ahead, daughter, you and your hubby. I'm Baina Johnson, and this is my husband, Edward Johnson. Uh huh. And we are hoping for, we are sewing. Okay. Three hundred dollars via Cash App. For yeah. Home for promotion at my husband's job. Yeah. Okay. For me to be able to be a stay-at-home wife. Uh -huh. Home wife. Okay. In Amen. The name of Jesus. And and of course for my business, my e-commerce business. So we are believing God for uh, increase in our lives. And just a testimony. Come on. For somebody that's looking for debt cancellation. 
Speak up a little bit for me. We need to hear you. Come on. You're doing good. <laughs> Just a testimony for someone that has been worried about some debt cancellation. I had been, I had student loans. I went to private school, college. I had been trying to pay all my student loans. It just seems like I was just paying the interest. I had been praying about this debt for years. And one morning I woke up to make payment arrangements. And it wasn't there. Come on now. Tell them, look again. Look you gotta again. look again. And the yeah. amount was so big that I kept checking. Like, this, let me reload my computer. This, but I had to just give them praise. Hallelujah. Because I believe this word. And this word does not come back void. So whoever it is that's believing in debt cancellation, I am praying with you and believing with you that God is going to cancel that debt and remove that stress so you can move forward in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, give her a hand. Clap a yeah. praise her, Brother Johnson. It works. Thank you so much. It'll work if you work it. Come on, daughter. Okay. This is um, from Michael and Charlene Jones. We're going to sew $500 for health good health not just for my household but my family yeah and my friends <laughs> and my church family <laughs> um there's a lot going on through, that i know of of our family and friends so i want to uh, sow to see on their behalf and also for financial i guess growth or um breakthrough breakthrough, breakthrough. and debt cancellation to be debt free. Yes. I normally don't stay up here and talk this long, but I'm gonna say this today. Come on, <laughs> come on. It, um, I need all that. <laughs> Put it out um, there. Um, business ideas or whatever God has for me, I want it all. Yeah. <laughs> so five hundred dollars and twenty five dollars for the Mason baby. For the that Mason would be, baby. Um, online. Online. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. That's Amen. all right, daughter. The Mason. Right over here. say anything. I tried to so anonymously. My mother didn't know the cash app. And then you said say something. So now I'm here. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sewing five hundred dollars. There's so many things God is doing in this season. Come on. I'm sewing it because I believe in what God is doing with you. And I know that in sowing into the house of the prophet, I accept the prophet's reward. Yeah. My daughter visits. She low-key sneaks to come here. She said, this is where I get fed, mommy. I cover my children with my whole heart. So I thank you for feeding my child edifying her to do the things that I've laid on my face for her to see. And then I have another one that we are standing in a gap for. So I'm sowing a seed for $500 for the expansion of this house. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. And I oh, yeah. receive what God has laid up for me in the heavenly places. I don't have words for it, I just believe them. I'm sewing an additional $100 for my son, Alante Jackson. For every manifested thing that God has established for him to have that his eyes will see and his heart will break and his stomach will burst with waters and he will walk into the fullness of what God has called for him to be in this season. Okay. For his business, for his, his past to be abolished and his future, for his, 
his Kairos and his Chronos to meet today. For his family and for his children, which are my children, I believe it. I believe for alignment with him, with you all. I thank y'all for that. I know I said I wasn't going to say nothing, but it's in my spirit. I love God so much, and I love the people of God, but I love you all for loving who I love. So $100 for Alante and $500 for the Gamble Family Cash App. Come on, give her a praise. $600 Cash, cash App. App. Yeah, oh, man. All right, Peyton. We got you, mama. We got you. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I got excited. Um, pay in pass more twenty dollars for the Mason baby. Hey, right. Mason baby. She got her own money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor and I gonna sew another uh, twenty five hundred dollars. Yes, sir. Come on, give the Lord a real praise, Amen. man. We all gotta get out of here soon, so come on, sweetheart. Amen. Good morning. I am, um, Brenda had to leave, my sister Brenda had to leave, but she is sewing her $300 for wisdom, extra wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I just want to sow my seed. I think I'm doing cash out, but I just want to say to the Fountain family, God is good. God. He will do bigger. bigger. Yes, he will. So just the nine days, God has blessed me that I'll be on the continent of Europe. I'll be celebrating Thanksgiving in Europe. Yeah. So for that, I give God praise, honor, and glory. Hallelujah. So I was looking at the, uh, the number. So I don't know. Matt, you know. What would make it $25,000? What make it twenty five? dollars Yeah, what would make that $25,000? $1899? Yeah, $1,000. $1899? Yeah. Well, you know, when I was going to Hubert, I thought I was going to buy me a Gucci purse. Uh-huh. But you know what? Whatever it is to make it $25,000, I got that. Yes, ma'am. Hey. $1,899. Like come that. on, come on. <laughs> Half haven't been told. On the Gucci books. <laughs> Haven't been told. Come on, daughter. I've been up before, Use the mic so we can hear you, baby. I've, I've just been up here. My name is Sherry Jones. I want to give to the Mason baby. Hey, the yes, Mason baby. There you go. Another $20. Right $20 for Come the on, Mason baby. that Mason baby. baby is on the way. On the way, baby. It's on the way. Hi, Sheila Johnson. I'm sewing $200 for Cash App for my... Um, business and for my home I just got to say really quick that I took and um, how can I say this I um, sold into my business so I took a made an investment into myself for my business and right after I did I got an opportunity a call about a home that I've been wanting for years Come on. that came okay. open and so my money is in my business but I'm just believing God yes. that I'm gonna get my business next year is in 2024 and maybe even before 2024, I'm going to um, receive at least $500,000 in my business. So yes. I'm believing God for finances okay. for my business and my home at 18190 Juliana. Come on, come on, Michigan. claim it. Come on. And I'm okay. believing for uh, my husband for fiscal responsibility and that he would begin to sow into the house of God and um, walk in the things of God that God has called him to do so that our family can be all that God Amen. called us to be. Amen. Come Amen. on, give her a break. Bishop, Deacon Lee and Curtis Johnson, $300 for new tax preparation business, and they're giving it okay. via text. Via text. Okay. Text. Text to give. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Praise Good morning. God. Of everyone attached to me. All right. Cash app. I have another one for families and relationships, be it children and parents, husbands and wives, whatever mm -hmm. relationship you're in, and most importantly, relationship with our Father. I'm sewing that for us as well. $100. Cash app. 
And my last one is for the manifestation of God's provision in my life because everything that I'm saying I'm giving, he's actually giving it because he gave it to me. And I'm just, you know, trying to return it back to him and be, be wise in doing it. Not just, you know, frivolous in his will. And of course, my husband does have something to say. I know y'all think he's quiet. He is for the most part, but he has things to say too. So I'm gonna step aside. This is another hundred. That's 300 so far. Cash out. I was wondering if I was gonna get any of these envelopes. <laughs> this is a hundred dollars cash out just for uh, my total healing. Uh, back when I started this church in 17, I got hit by an 18-wheeler on a bicycle after I had hip surgery. So I'm, I'm thanking God for me being a stand up there every day, every Sunday. Uh, Amen. Amen. And um, I slipped and fell in my backyard <clears throat> and tore my shoulder up. That was like last year. And um, it's totally healed. I mean, hey. I, I tore every tendon in, in my shoulder and my bicep. I tore a tendon in the neck. So I worked through all that. Thank God for that. And um, last but not least, this is another $100 for uh, my lineage. We were talking in the back before we came out. <laughs> and Bishop, you know, made it clear about lineage. I can't um, control her lineage. I only control my lineage. We don't have kids together. So I'm just, you know, sewing for cleansing my lineage because it's not, it's just me left and my sister. Everybody else is gone. So we have to make our lineage, our next generation flourish for what we do. And he also told me for her kids, just to be a good example for them. I can't do nothing about their lineage because it's their lineage. They have to clean up their lineage just like I have to clean up mine for mine. And that's all I got to say. God bless. Hey. Okay, I guess I should go to the sovereign mic. Well, come on up here. <laughs> Just based on what my husband just said, uh -huh. he talking about cleaning lineage. Yeah, yeah. What I understand about lineage, that's my husband. That's right. Okay? And he's the head of my household. And as long as God is the head of his house, Come on. he's the head of me Come on. and my lineage. So my lineage is getting clean right along with his. Okay. Because that's what we stand You better together. talk then. We are together. We are bound together Come by on. the Holy Spirit. Come on. Okay? Come on. It's clean. I agree and declare in the name of Jesus that our lineage is clean. And I speak that same thing. And I'm throwing $500 on that. Yeah, $500 on that. <laughs> my, my. Decree it. Declare it. Little page. Hey. All right. Jones, and I want to give twenty dollars to the church. Amen. 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 Hi, my name is Matthew. I want to get twenty dollars to church too. Amen. All right, baby. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say it's no coincidence that I walked up here behind Quincy, and he was talking about his shoulder and all his tendons being torn. Um, last, um, the end of last month, I got results of my MRI on mine, and all mine are um, either uh, deteriorated or torn. And um, the doctor's supposed to go in in January and repair it. Mine's is gonna be healed in Jesus' name. So I won't have to miss church for six weeks is healed in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Let's 
I don't know if y'all noticed, but my health has been doing the backup rotation on things that was going on since I got healed at uh, EOW last year. So, uh, yeah, I told them I'm going to be buying a woman by the time this thing is over. But anyway, um, y'all know every impact or first fruit Sunday, something happens when I get up here because I either don't have or something snatched mine before I got in the building to give mine. But today, thank the Lord, I'm sewing $100 cash out myself. Thank the Lord. Come on, That's give the Lord a real praise. And I'm $100 towards my number one New York Times best-selling book that'll be out real soon and I'm sewing it because that book is going to put me in the room with my next husband and that book is going to provide for those three inventions that I have Amen. written out the vision, make it plain sitting at my house so I thank the Lord for that. Come on now. Okay, Bishop, on Facebook, we have Bree Bree. She gave, that's the name on Facebook, $60. Ghost and success in my business and increase in my clientele. Financial stability for me and my son. Spiritual wisdom and peace. Oh, no, no, it's, it's up there. Yeah. Madam? Yes, sir. <laughs> She's got a handful of envelopes. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I'm praying for, uh, well, first of all, the shutdown for the Timmons. I'm sewing $50 <laughs> this week. 20, $25 on marriages and $25 on healing, so that's 100 right there. Then I'm praying uh, $50 I'm sewing for Kayla and Keith's baby. And then I'm sewing some glad money. I'm so for all my children, Michael, Damon, David, amen, Matthew, and, amen, and Daniel, amen. amen, business, and Michael Jones Jr. CD, finally, come on, Lord, come on, amen, Jesus now. For that. and then uh, praying, and I'm thanking God for the healing for my body, and I'm thanking for nothing's there for Bishop's body, come, come on, on. Yes. healing, $500, glad money, $500, and then I'm sewing for EOW, amen, greater for 30, 32 years in 2024 for healing, deliverance, and people being set free, $2,000. Hey. Oh, yeah. Amen, amen. Come right along. Praise the Lord. Praise it. I'm like Sister Charlotte. I don't usually like to get up here, but for two reasons. I heard the man of God say, it's obedience that counts. Yeah. And usually I don't I did uh, give my don my offerings at the silence table. And uh, I just wanted to say last night after I had prayed about what I should give, and I was trying to add it up and see it with my eyes. Yeah. And I thought like, well, I'm gonna be a little short. I don't know if I should just go ahead and make it out, trust God for whatever it is. So I did. And as I was getting out the car, money was beating me. The young lady, Marie, helped me out the car. I said, God says I would get a blessing when I was, I never got a blessing before, a financial blessing as I was coming into impact. And God just blessed me then. Before I got down the aisle, another young lady came and gave me a $20. So I just wanted to say, I just had that fear of God, not that God, God is a good God. And I have a, a reference fear of him. When he say do something, uh, I have to obey. So I just got up to be obedient. What's your amount, mama? Oh, she gave it the silent table, got you. I just, okay, thank you. I just don't know if we listen where we get caught. She says I had a, a problem, I had a, God told me to sow something. I was worried about if I was going to be able to sew it, I was going to be a little short. But when I came to the church where I was going to sew it, when I got out the car, somebody grabbed my hand and gave me some money. Then I was walking up the aisle and somebody else gave me some money. 
because she was obedient say lord you figure it out i'm gonna do what you say he gave her the provision on her way to executing the obedience See, we just hear, we hear, oh, I was done. No, you're not listening to what's happening. When you say yes and start walking, what you need will meet you on your way. Because if God said it, God will take care of it. Well, praise him. Well, praise him. Come on, put your hands together. All right, now, we're really running late, and we've given a lot of opportunity for people to express their faith. And so in the sea. So we're gonna wrap this up real soon. So let's 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 come on and release God and we're gonna get out of your way. Have have this young man come. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Pico Campbell. I wanted to sow my seed of one hundred dollars for continuous growth um, with relationship with God, uh, continued growth in my career and my businesses. Thank you. Hey man, hundred dollars. Pico, yeah. all right, give me my hand, yes, Campbell Bray. <laughs> Cash app, what did you do? Cash, Cash app. app. Thank you. Cash all right. All right, I'm gonna keep it quick. So I walked in here with $2 and nice. I took that to the silent table because I ain't gonna lie, I was a little embarrassed, but some money was just released. <laughs> so I gotta um, be a little grateful because I also had to take into account of what God has done from the last impact. I sold for community, I sold for acceleration in my business and he's accelerated all of that in the last four months. So I have to be grateful, and I'm sewing $50 for increasing my company, Rain Entertainment. I'm sewing for my lineage. I don't have kids or a husband yet, but I'm sewing for that right now. I'm praying for God to give me wisdom. And Come on, Kay! <laughs> I'm sewing for God to give me wisdom in the things that are coming as far as business and relationship-wise in Jesus' name. So I'm sewing $50 online. Come on, online, $50. Amen. I'm going to have to go to this side over here. Denzel. My name is Christopher and I That's all right, Christopher. Go ahead, Christopher. <laughs> My name is Christopher and I want to say $25 to the church. Amen. All right, $25 for cash, the church. Cash out. Cash out. All right, cash out. Bishop, we had someone gave earlier, and uh, she just wanted to put a, a name on it. Charlene Younger's daughter gave 50 earlier by cash app, but she wanted to just put a, uh, give her a seed and assignment for healing. And then Jackie Turner called in. Jackie Turner, uh, $300 total, but $200 for her brother's healing, uh, Lamonte Miller and Joseph Miller. And then another $100 for uniting the family. So $300 total by the phone per cash app uh, from Jackie Turner. All right. Three, oh, someone's coming to the silent mic. Sovereign mic. Amen. Can you, can you hold it just a minute? I'm trying to see what Pastor's is trying to say. To say Come on, say what you need to say, I, brother. Anybody believe God in the house? Okay. Watch this. If you miss him, you can't believe him. So you got to, everybody say listen. listen. You have to listen. I'm not crazy. I'm repeating what people are saying that we're missing. Kayla just said, I came in here today and I was ashamed I had $2. I was ashamed so I gave my $2 at the silent table. And then she said, money was released. They missed it again. So I, I said, I had to go, I, I said, Caleb, what do you mean? Because I'm like, I, are we not hearing what, what do you mean money was, she said, I had invoices that was due that hadn't been paid, that they just, they paid it on a Sunday at 12 something in the afternoon, right after she gave $2 that she had, all of a sudden money started getting released. I need us to see the faithfulness of our God. Well, praise That's him. why he deserves praise. Yeah. Amen, amen. Daughter. Yes, sir. Get the sovereign mind. I came in here with what I was going to give in my mind already. And I texted my husband. He said, well, I'll split it with you. Okay. I'm thinking I can keep extra money in my pocket. Quickly got convicted because I know what God said to do. And I'm sewing an additional $100. And this $100 is for an improvement and an increase in restoration in my marriage, in, in the intimacy in our marriage, in the love in our marriage, and even those that might also need it. I'm, 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 I'm sewing for that. I'm sewing for Kayla's husband. And I'm sewing for Shayla's husband. Amen. 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 You at the silent mic? I'm in silent mic? 
All right. I'm going to talk real fast for this. You're going to talk real fast. Real fast. Real fast. Real fast. All right. Anywho, y'all heard me say every time I come up here for an impact or a first fruit, something always come and take it. Well, I was paying a bill on the phone the other day. Something was going on with it. And um, it wasn't taking my money this time. So the Lord hooked me up with an agent that had the exact same birthday, birth month, and birth year birth year as me and she kept calling me birthday buddy so instead of me having to dish out money for the, to catch that bill up to cut my phone back on so I could cash out anywho she went to the back office talked to her boss and the boss made arrangements I ain't had to release no money but I forgot to talk about my house I got to get me another place to live so I can release my children from my, their, I got released their pockets from me. So anywho, um, sewing another $20 because I didn't mention it over there and the Lord said give yeah, 20 because I was going to get 10. Well, amen for your obedience. Cash app. Cash app. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. He, okay, go ahead. So I'm sewing uh, another $100 uh, via the debit card. Yes, sir. You, Pastor, you were saying we overcome us by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Yes, sir. And so, I got to testify. I mean, the bishop and the pastor, they know this. But somebody out there need to know, God will double your income. Yes, he will. He will take yes, what you will. make in two weeks and you will make it in one week. Yes, I'm a living will. witness yes, he that will. he will do it. All you got to do is believe his word. Don't try to figure out how he's going to do it. Just believe his word and he will do it. You try to understand it with your head. Faith don't make sense to your head. It only makes sense in your spirit. Believe he will do it and watch him do it. Because I am literally having a ball. Hey. Amen. Uh, on YouTube, Elder, uh, uh, um, I almost said Elder, Karen Sims uh, sold again for her children. Um, I forgot what it was for, another $100 again, see, for spiritual financial health breakthrough for, for four kids. Amen. Uh, Karen Sims again, see, and from the silent table, another $520 from the silent table. Well, praise him. Since we're at the silent table, I never got a chance to talk about this. We want to thank from the silent table over there. Them girls are working. $2,009 from the silent table. Yeah. These numbers should be moving up pretty soon. I don't know where we are. Uh, they only count it when they receive it, so some sure. haven't I, gone in yet. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, I don't know where my wife at. Probably with the baby running somewhere. Wow. Can it <laughs> Perfect. You, you, All right. I make it quick. Okay. All right. So um, she's coming. She heard her name. Yeah, she coming to stand with you. She heard. She heard. She left the baby though. <laughs> she, left, she heard your voice though. All right. So my wife been working on a nonprofit, and I think it's gonna do really well. So. We gonna sew a thousand dollars to where she quit her job and focus on what God wanted her to do. Okay. All right. And then we've been extremely blessed, especially lately. Um, so I'm gonna sew another thousand um, dollars, and next year we are gonna buy an apartment building. Okay. <laughs> For an apartment building. I don't know if y'all heard. Next year we gonna buy an apartment building. Amen. Amen. Right. So it's two thousand dollars cash up. $2,000 cash. Did you have something you needed to say, daughter? She run out of the... Uh... Um, I think you pretty much said it, but uh, I did want to show that she as well. Um, to what I'm trying to do for my nonprofit, I really want to help expectant mothers and just help mothers and heal them financially, mentally, emotionally. Um, so I do want to uh, sow an additional $100 to that uh, because I do want to help, help our women. So, all right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, that's Beautiful. 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 All right, we're over, on this, we're over on this side. All right, so Al McLaughlin. Cash up. Uh, also cash up for me, uh, $100, <laughs> however, but, um, oh, Samson the trainer too. Got to put that out there. Um, man, it's crazy. I was getting jacked up. I'm not going to be long um, up there just being obedient um, and just the principles because yeah, yeah. I've been here for seven years and I've been getting blessed like crazy just by being connected to the fountain and um, also being connected to the family. Yeah. So it's just been, you know, blessing me um, tremendously. 
I wasn't going to say anything because I was not prepared for Impact Sunday, even though we were always talking about it. Um, and I was just like, man, all right, cool. I'm just not, I'm just going to like, God knows my heart. I'm good. But that's not good enough. So I want to sow a seed of $100, however, uh, via Cash App, but I want to name my seed. So um, this should be working on me. I don't know if anybody know, but it's like. Uh, That's I why be, he's so tired all the I time. Be, That's a lot of work. I be at the front, man, almost every Sunday. I be like, yeah, Bishop, absolutely. He see it on me, and um, and you got and I and I love that because you got to believe, you got to you got to see it, you got to see it, and and the more and more he's bringing me up there, like I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, and I'm and I'm getting to it, right? So it's a lot of things that's being done. Uh, one of the things that Bishop always says is you got to become the person that you need to become in order to do the things that you need to do so you can have the things that you desire to have and, you know, to order to become the person that you need to become in the inside. And so many times I'll be focusing on the outside appearance of who I am, how I do things, how I work out, how I dress, um, in my appearance. And so many times, like, I fail to work on the inside of Al. So I, I just wanted to, you know, name my seed of you know financial increase to be more fruitful in the kingdom of God and also the people who are connected to me um, praying for more of a breakthrough for everything that God has for me in my life for more knowledge and understanding of the next level in the kingdom living to be more intentional in everything that God has for me and also to be to live life um, more of a kingdom life to bring more kids to Christ so that's what that's the name I see I just want to say thank you so much I, I love my church and if you if you are feeling ashamed or embarrassed or if if anything like that, that's nothing but the enemy. That's nothing but the enemy coming to you trying to attack your thoughts. So whatever it is, whatever you have, just sow it and name it, and the rest will come. Yes, so thank sir. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're proud of you, man. Man, amen. Pete. Hi, everybody. Hey. Um, my name is Paris Ritter. And um, I'm going to try not to cry. I thought I did all my crying before I came down here. Um, I'm sewing $50 cash today, um, believing for total healing from my husband. Yeah. Uh, we recently got some news. And um, without going into all of the details, it's a miracle that he wakes up every single day. Yeah. And so I'm just believing God that just like he healed my body yeah. to be able to birth this baby that I am holding. Yeah. That I am trusting and believing that God is going to completely heal my husband. In Jesus' name. In Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hi, I'm Camelia Sanders. And uh, on behalf of the Sanders family, via Cash App, I'm giving $300. And I'm believing in total healing for my husband. Yeah. For myself. That I wake up one day not in pain. Because I wake up every day in pain. And I won't need any pain medication. So I'm believing that. And I believe that my husband will become more active in the church. And that's my desire because I know he has a lot to give in his heart. And I'm also thankful for um, our new home that's being built right now. Yeah. On 24 Mile Road. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Amen. Can you come in? Can you come in? Father, in Jesus' name, at the root, at the source, in the muscle, in the tendons, Father, touch every, ha, ah, that's it. In Jesus' name, no pain, sleep. Well, in Jesus' name. Oh, that's it. It is so. It is so. It is so. That's it. It is so. Believe it. Receive it. Amen. I'm sorry. 
We want to hear about it. Okay. Sovereign Mike. So I'm giving a, um, I'm still on the second seed for optimal health. Yeah. And abundance mm -hmm. of grace and favor and a family business that lives on for generations to come and creates generational wealth that impacts the world. Come on. Um, in September, I lost my primary income um, and got into an accident and a lot of things just started happening. And I was, got a little anxious, but I had a couple of friends to come over. We prayed, God released me from it. Everybody keep asking me, like, when you gonna file for your unemployment? You gonna file you file for your unemployment? I'm like, that's too little for me. I'm not filing for unemployment. I'm expecting God to give me referrals, or give me whatever it is that he has for me so that I can live the life that he wants me to live. And so I just say um, that I'm thankful. I'm not saying unemployment is beneath me. I'm not saying that at all. But what I'm saying is I'm grateful that I haven't had to and that he has supplied my needs as I needed. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm sowing my seed today. I did come up here with a number. Um, but... Um, I had to change it. Um, Glory to God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, my first seed is going to what's, what's um, dear to my heart, and that's the food drive. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, the guy continued to do what he said he was going to do when he showed me the vision. Um, so I thank God for that. Um, secondly, um, my son, I'm sowing this, uh, another hundred dollars seed for my son. Um, God is doing something. And I want, um, I'm sowing it for my son and uh, um, Ari, the place that God is bringing him to with him. And to be the man of God that called, God called him to be. Yeah. Um, and not what the world want him to be, but what God called him to be. Yeah. So it's two hundred dollars cash out. Amen. Amen. Two hundred. We agree. Cash out. Amen. Oh, amen. Y'all moving? Okay. Go ahead. I thought y'all was done. Go ahead. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> glory. One more time, Auntie. One more time. Hallelujah. Yeah. I thank God for the praise that he put in my heart and in my mouth. It's only him. <laughs> to God be one in 1985, we were 53 years ago. I was tithing $43. Yeah. <laughs> my brother said, I got people to give that every week. But I was so proud to be able to tithe $43. Like Where my seat today is for uh, ear to hear when God speaks to me yeah. and for health. One thousand dollars. Yeah. One thousand dollars. Amen. Forty-three to a thousand. My God. Yes, Jay. All right, I'm back. So I forgot this. Um, I do want to get five dollars on that Mason baby. Um, Mason that baby, baby. That baby already here. She got a he or she got a room already. That baby already here. So <laughs> we're here next week. But anywho, um, I also wanted this up for my husband. I know I'm gonna meet him. I not marry him, but I know I'm gonna meet him before the end of this year. Come on. Um, and then also because I am getting into technology, so to be able to understand um, this new realm for me, um, to get an understanding and to actually get a job in it, um, I forgot that. And my baby want to write a book, so just for her to have confidence and know she can write a book, even though she is sick, it doesn't matter. She can still write a book at six years old. So um, that's all I got. This is my last five. So. Amen. Amen. It is so. Amen. My name is Gabby, and I'm sewing $15 for my mental health and people that's connected to me mental health. That's right. And another $15 for whatever God is going to do with me in the future. Amen. Cash out. Cash out. Come on. Oh. I didn't. Come on. You good? Okay. Come on. I know we on yard time, but we got to let people get their seeds out. Go ahead. So Pastor Matt said, we're not listening. I wasn't listening. It was a number I had last night. I didn't do it. I heard Elder Bianca. I heard. I heard. So, 
I'm shaking. You know, five hundred dollars for the Mason baby and for our sons. I got a daughter, but for our sons, because I heard the lady for our sons, because they are in trouble, y'all. And I got one, and I know. I need God and I'm on my face for him. So for our sons to come to God, to give their life, to be the mighty men of valor that God has called them to be, I decree and declare this day that it shall happen, that they shall come to him, get their hearts to him, get on their face before him. In Jesus' name, for our sons. Hey Amen. $500. For sons. Man, I'm, I'm not saying nothing. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Zariah. I'm giving $5 for my family and for my mental health. Amen. Amen. Represent, baby. Oh, you ready? Uh, okay, come on. They've been waiting. Let y'all go. Go ahead. She got a notebook, y'all. we gave. Can everybody hear me? Okay. <laughs> the last few times we gave, what did you write down? What did we give for last time? We gave for our building. Yes, we gave for Savannah's. I believe we showed a, a picture of a building. We didn't get that one, but we got another building. We've been open. We'll be, it'll be a year, December 3rd. Yeah. So I thank God for that. Uh, we sold for a baby. And I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, what else? Okay. I was just, I was trying to, this is what I'm believing for this time. But I was trying to say what I asked God for last time. Okay. I'm still on. All right. So... What we asked for last time was was the baby and Savannah. You got both of those. Yeah. But the third thing was basically business opportunities. Um, so I've recently have been approached with a business opportunity to where um, there's a graphic design company that wants to partner with Good Boy. Um, it's pretty cool. And this company, um, through the relationships in their favor, um, the building that they work for, they're, they're giving them a space downtown Detroit on Woodward in Midtown. Woo! So they asked us, they said they're scared to do it themselves and we are better together. So they asked us, could we move in the building with them downtown Detroit? And they said the first six months will be free and every and all of the rent would be split in half. They're gonna they're gonna pay for the build out and pay for all of the furniture and equipment that we need. So before next year, we're gonna be open. Good boy is gonna be downtown Detroit on Woodward, on Grand Boulevard, next to the Garden Theater. And God is six months free, completely build out, paid for. I mean, furnace. And it come, you know, when you, in vicinity, it's gonna come with all types of connection opportunities. So yeah, I was I was trying to let my wife talk because I don't want to get emotional. So we're gonna let her say what she's been selling for, and I'm gonna say what we're gonna be selling for. And I'm gonna get off y'all way. Okay. <laughs> now I'll read my list now. <laughs> okay, so let me see, where am I? Okay, my son's health. That's my first thing. So he had been in the hospital so many times that I was kind of looking for something to call it because I was just confused. He was getting hospitalized. It happened over seven times this year. And then they diagnosed him with asthma and I kind of just accepted it because I wanted, I wanted to know what was going on. And I never like, you know how we say stuff like, we don't believe the report of the doctor. That didn't come to my head. I went and got the medication. He's taking four medications right now, every day. and. 
I just decree and declare that that's not his story. And I didn't do that when we were at the hospital. And I, I apologize to God for not giving him the credit because I was looking for something to call it. He does not have asthma. And that will not be his story. Um, we're believing in elevation for corporate jobs. And God gave us, he literally placed it in our hands. It was so unbelievable how it happened. And I was skeptical just because when, it, when it's God, it's just like, it's, it's confusing almost. It just makes you like, what is happening? Is this happening? And I know Daniel already said it, but it blew my mind. We, are, we have a building on Woodward downtown. And one of the highest places, one of the most expensive places where rent, our rent is free. So we're believing God for more connections in that building, for bigger stuff to happen. I'm believing for the Mason baby. I'm believing for Elevation and Crown Queens for Destiny, Edge Transportation Company, all my friendships. I really, I'm believing in God for more friendships, but I appreciate the ones that I have. I'm believing in God for Paris and Theo's business. Those are one of the talented, most two talented people, and then they got married. <laughs> The, like, y'all don't even know. Theo be talking and we be like, why do you have all this knowledge? Like, so I'm just believing whatever they set their minds to do, I'm believing that God will do something amazing. Very fit, Samson training, every business that was named today, this seed is for every business. We are the, the first family. We're sowing for every business in the room, every family, every baby that's about to come, everything that you can imagine, everything that you're sowing for, this seed is for you. Amen. We got we believe for a lot. We really believe in this principle. I don't know if y'all believe as much as we believe in this principle, but I gotta name my seed. So um, oh, I had one more. Go ahead. Healing for my father as well. He was diagnosed with diabetes. And healing for my sister Charlotte and and her word. She spoke today. That was if y'all don't know Charlotte, <laughs> that's huge. So yes, okay. Sorry. Um I wanna become a better leader. Um, and a better example, um, a lot of my team is not here, but like for everybody who's a part of our Good Boy Savannah, Adam Mark, our businesses, it's an honor to, to, for some, somebody to believe in you and trust in the vision and follow you. And I want to do the best I can to do right by them, and honor them, and whatever God has blessed blessing me with they can they'd be attached and they'd be blessed as well like so all of their businesses I want their business to be blessed I want to be a better leader I want be better balance in my and all every area of my life and communication in every area of my life um rain entertainment I forgot about that hey, rain. <laughs> in every area of my life um that's I'm mean, I just applied for a grant I don't know if I'm eligible or not but I've never received a grant before I'm also believing for the grant. It's called Motor City Match. So y'all see me come back, you know what I'm saying, and I got it. Y'all gonna know I got it because we're gonna put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to get out the way. I might just, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna give our seat. Okay. The seat for all this stuff we was talking too much, hopefully it's worth it, is $10,000. $10,000, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Put on a debit card. Yes. I, I want to give you the mic back, but Lady TJ, can you come up here, please? Can you stand next to your husband? Yeah. Well, y'all don't know, this is my closest, oldest brother and his lovely wife. Um, Mom gave me permission. I wanted to just tell you guys that I'm so proud of y'all. We, we are so proud. <laughs> so I have my own personal relationship with God, but I grew up looking up to Matt. And it's so hard to do wrong because he's so genuine. And he's, he lives the life. And ever since dad is anointing him as lead pastor and he's been trying to fix all the things you guys don't all get to see like how much stress they go through how much counseling 
how much stuff you got to do for free. Like, <laughs> how much, like, ministering you got to do to people. It's like, that junk is exhausting, man. <laughs> and they don't complain. And they, and they do it every week with a smile. A smile. It's admirable. I love you, bro. I love you, sis. I'm grateful for you guys. I know we don't have, like, no pastor day or leader day, but <laughs> me and my wife personally want to give you guys $5,000. <laughs> Thank you. Well, come on and praise him. <laughs> Amen. I'm telling you, a, I told y'all something was happening in the air. People don't want to believe the prophet. So we just keep it rolling. Come on one more time. Let's, we have to put it on a uh, place of that. Oh, yeah. God can take nothing, what appears to be nothing, and make some amazing things. You say nothing, faith is not a material, but he can take your faith and make some amazing things. All right, come on before I start preaching. Is it on? Help us out, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, that's hard to follow up, but you know, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Um, but we are the Bethunes, and um, last night I had a conversation with my husband, like, okay, babe, it's, it might be a little tight, but we are gonna do three. I, I know for sure we can do three. And as I'm sitting up here, <laughs> he was, I just kept hearing him say, oh, so you're going to play on my face? You, that's what you're going to do? You're going to just play on my face? Because that's not what I told you. Um, so I added another 100 to that. So today we are sowing $100, excuse me, $400. Um, and we are sowing for um, just increase in our nurturing and development. Lately, both of us have been placed in some, some rooms. Um, <laughs> that we didn't necessarily see ourselves in, in front of some projects we didn't necessarily see ourselves in front of. And I am just grateful that God is continuously stretching us and um, like I said, just nurturing and developing us. I am, we are also praying for better stewardship over our time and our finances, um, increase in unity and covering over our children, spiritual growth, total healing from my husband who has had some some health issues that we are not claiming. We are just saying those are completely gone. He is healed um, for God-given business ideas. <laughs> and last impact, we also sold for our home that we absolutely said that we just had to have closed by the end of this year. Um, it has not happened, however, we've already received our pre-approvals. We've seen plenty of houses in not necessarily that there were anything wrong with them, but much like Trey and his wife, did, they are not what God has for us. So we are continuously looking. We are still believing. We are closing on that house before the close of this year. And we can't wait to see all of y'all at the house warm. <laughs> One more thing. We said 400, but we up here now. Uh, 
I want to do 50 more for Theo. I don't know what he's going through, but we want to sew for him for his healing. And I want to do 50 more for you, Matt. For everything you've done for us, from inspiring us, pushing us, and helping us grow, we love you and thank you. $500. dollars <laughs> Man, something. Add another twenty-five on there for that Mason baby, also. We ain't forget about y'all. Twenty-five. <laughs> okay, daughter. Hello, my name is Ronima, Big Mo. I'm sewing a seat of a hundred dollars for um, a new transportation, a uh, no car note, um, and my own transportation business, Big Mo Rides. Um, I want to create a system for. School pickup, single mothers and elders. Um, I want buses, shuttles, cars. Um, I want my debts paid off so I can go back to school. I also want a house and just good health for my family and me and wisdom to keep everything that I'm asking for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Amen. What was it? What was it? Fifty dollars. Hundred dollars. I'm sorry. Okay. I got a sovereign mic here. Can we grab her first? And then we'll come back to you guys. So my husband has no idea that I was going to do this. I didn't know I was going to do it, to be transparent. When I came up with him, I thought we were done. Um, but when I was listening to Dan talk, um, God put on my heart that you sometimes have to give people their flowers publicly. And when my husband spoke, he talked about financial freedom and he spoke more generically. One thing we didn't give for was our home. We didn't mention our home. Um, but this is for you. I watched you with so much humility serve others. You don't ask for much. Sometimes you do it for free. You oftentimes do it well below what you're worth, which frustrates me. <laughs> but one thing you did not mention was your dream that we're launching, which is your music major brand. Yeah. So um, most of you know this, but some of you don't, like Drew, um, his heart is for worship music, but he's traveled the, the world, the country with mainstream artists um, who have embraced him, who recognize his gifting and talent, but he's never bet on himself. And I am my husband's absolute number one cheerleader, fight me if you want to question it. And to see the, the sparkle in his eye when he talks about music major. And so really quickly, music major is gonna be curating live um, music experiences. I expect all y'all to buy a ticket. Um, but this is something he's wanted to do for years and to see it kind of finally come to fruition means the world to me. Um, and he's also in the process of launching some merchandise lines, so you guys look out for that as well. But I know how hard it is for you to just oftentimes toot your own horn. So I wanted to sew $100 for your businesses that are launching and the success that I know is going to come with them. And I just wanted to publicly tell you how proud I am of you and how much I love you. Man, one hundred dollars. All right, we got the berries. Hi. So my husband talked last time, but I'm gonna talk this time. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to sew a hundred dollars because I didn't feel like we listed the things that we have been praying for for like the past few months. And I heard Bishop saying, like, you need to, like, say it. You need to name it. You need to, like, not be ashamed of the things that you're praying for. So I just wanted to speak it publicly. So for at least a year and a half, I've been telling my husband I wanted to start this new business. New business, new business. 
and lately we've been talking about it a lot more so I just really 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 want to start my new business next year um, we started our fitness business this year and it has grown so much <laughs> thought it would be and each time we think something of where it would go next it just hits the mark before we even can think like I said I wanted to open a gym in August and we weren't even thinking about it my husband was like no we're not doing that that's too much September we had a gym <laughs> so I'm just praying that our business keeps growing and I really, I want to outgrow the building that we're in. I already looked at buildings. Like, I'm like, we're outgrowing this. This is our next building. Like, I'm just really believing God that he'll continue to grow our fitness business. We own a gym. And just keep giving us clientele that's steady. Um, I want to be debt free. Like, God, I, I really want to be debt free. Like, that's the biggest thing on my heart. I want to increase our finances. Um, I've really been praying lately about friendships and connections. And as I keep praying about it, we keep getting, like, more genuine friends and growing those connections. And we keep getting in different places where we become greater in those connections. So I'm just continuing to pray for that and pray over all of our friends. I think, yes, let's listen to everybody. So I'm going to agree with yes and everybody who she listed. Um, I want to pray over career wisdom. I have two licenses as a real estate agent and as a nurse, and I don't think that I use either to the best of my ability. Like, I could be making well over six figures a year in either license alone, and I'm not utilizing those. So I just want to pray that God give me wisdom to utilize both, life, both licenses so that we can continue to gain finances in multiple areas. So, $100 cash back. Amen. Amen. Very good. Good job, Amen. Um, I'm going to throw an extra 50 in there just because uh, <laughs> uh, we just been dealt some cards about that. Um, so, um, you know, my wife and her schooling and stuff like that. And they just came and talking about they taking it, you know, <laughs> taking a lot of money from right. it. So, uh, we still going to sow into that, even though they taking some, they can't stop us, you know what I'm saying? So right. we're going to sow an extra 50 on that. Let's do 50 on the day. Amen. Amen. Say that. Amen. Um, so I heard y'all say y'all was um, praying for y'all. Praying for y'all sons. That's, that's the way I'm holding. Um, so I just want to um, sow an extra $60 on his behalf. Yes. Um, I just want to ask God to cover him every day from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. Yeah. To guide every footstep that he has and to correct him in every way that he knows how to allow him to be a man that's like him. That's, amen. Amen. It is so. Praise him. Last one, I believe. For expansion of the church. My grandfather served you for 10 years. He brought me to this church. Shedry Jones. Yes. In the back of the church. Every Shedry, Sunday. yes. Every yeah. Sunday. And I, 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 I would venture all. I went to other churches, but I always get led back here. Every every time I get led back here. So I want to sell another $50 just for expansion of this church. And thank you all for everything that y'all do. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Bishop, we have one person, uh, so Edna Gorey, sold $50 via cash app for her family, her husband, their family health, and their financial uh, uh, freedom and financial blessing. And Cassandra Washington sold $300 online. She wanted to make sure we knew that she sold $300 online. So uh, Cassandra Washington, $300, and Edna Gorey, $50 cash app. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh-oh. She's going to the side. Hold on. Dale thinks he's my boss. Um, I just wanted to sell $100 for the Mason babies. Um, I know Kayla, she's back there, but I just believe, and I know it's going to happen. Some things just had to get into place, and so um, I, I know that next year we'll be, we're going to have the Mason baby running around here too. 
and another $200 for, um, where is she at, Asia, Asia Reigns, she believed. We did a, um, with Road to Forever, we had a Mayor. vision board party in January, and so all the couples got together and wrote everything out, and she wrote that she wanted to start her nonprofit, like it had been on her heart for a long time. But she finally had just got the courage. And when I saw her first post a couple months ago, I was just blown away that she really did it. And I'm just proud of her. Um, she, she, Asia is a beautiful, beautiful person. I love the Rainses. I just love y'all so much. Um, so yeah, for them, for uh, Shayla Spears, for Crown Queens, for everybody, um, just the women. Like, I love the men, we love y'all, but just to see the women just going forth and being entrepreneurs. I just pray that God just continues to give us ideas. We are supposed to, we're supposed to inherit that. We're supposed to have money. We shouldn't be broke. We're supposed to be creators. So I'm just sowing and believing for that. So a total of $300 um, cash app. Okay, on, on Facebook real quick, Nisi is sowing $50 cash app, praying for her son's healing. And then Marie Johnson, additional $25 cash app for the Mason baby. Amen. You want me to? All right. Uh, and Pastor Leon McDonald, uh, he sent the seed of $2,000. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You the sound man too much. You video man. Video. He said video. It's good. It's on. What's up, family? <laughs> I just wanted to uh, first sow a seed to my parents' health, my mother and my father. You know, I need them in my life, so most definitely, most definitely want to sow for that. I also want to sow just for the found family. Without y'all, I wouldn't be who I am. Outside of here, people ask why I'm always smiling, why I'm always happy. That's because I got such a village that God gave me. Y'all, y'all, y'all my people. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I'm sowing 150 cash out. 150 cash out. Okay, Trey. Hey, Amen. I know right. Bishop about the club, so I just I'm gonna sow in a, uh, another another thousand dollars. Amen. My wife and I. Go ahead. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but Lady TJ and all of you all were talking about your businesses, and I never tell y'all this, but I did start an LLC called KQ Lagan, and God is working on me with that. And so I'm going to sow $100 for all the female entrepreneurs and include myself. Amen. 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 Huh? I just wanted to sow $50 into unlocking that uh, that finance for you yes. guys, Pastor Jackie, this week. Amen. It's going to happen. It's done. Amen. I meant to Catch do that. But another thousand dollars on that we're going to believe that to be released in Jesus Amen. name Amen. something is happening in the building let me just leave it alone sometimes you see more than what's being seen um, yes. <laughs> pastor and I uh, I, I, I am founder, administrator, and all that kind of stuff. I asked God for something because I didn't want hindrances in what he's assigned me to do. And I asked God to release entrepreneurs yes. and people who think above just a basic check. So I'm believing God for this church be known for people who are prosperous, successful, and love God. Uh, uh, I believe every business will be blessed as we, as we train and develop people how God works. And uh, it is evident that he can work and he is working. And so I'm believing God for an increase in your finance so we can actually average a hundred thousand dollars a month. Amen. A month. Bishop, I want to add, Bishop, I want to add, we believe in God for everybody's in here, families to come together and be made whole and happy. Amen. Whole, healthy, and happy. 
Amen. So we believe him for that, and that's not very difficult. We could have 1,000 people who could give $100 a month. Amen. We would actually, it's very simple, have $100,000 a month just to operate with. And uh, so we're believing for that. So we're going to sow an additional 5000 which would probably put us just around 10000 total for you. And I believe in God for you. And uh, Pastor, uh, I, you see, well, I, I got to leave it alone. I got to leave it alone. It seems like there should be some kind of evidence that God is able and we limit God by our beliefs or our faith. And we need to take the limits off God. We need to take, I heard the sister say she want a bigger gym. Why not? You know, why not get a chain of gems? You feel what I'm saying? And when you're knowing it. So we got to take the limits off God. So we're going to sell that extra 5000 That I, I means I owe 10 And Pastor Damon called and said he wanted to sell $5,000. So let's give him, and he didn't give me, he didn't give instructions, but he was so important. I had told the Lord that, that the $100,000 was not the, the main purpose today, was not the emphasis, and whatever he did, it would be fine. But I need to see evidence of faith, because I spent a lot of time in prayer, a lot of time in studying, and I try to share what God shared with me. And I'm at the age where if I don't see results, I'm ready to move on to something else. Because unless you see results, you can't tell if what you're doing is effective. And, and if not, if you don't pay attention to results, you'll keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting something different. And it never happens and then your season or your, or your time runs out without you ever birthing it. You feel what I'm saying? your purpose on earth. And so we only have a certain allotment of time to produce whatever it is that we're supposed to produce and leave in the earth. And uh, I just believe that a lot of what goes on in church has no value to the kingdom. It just satisfies and pacifies people. But I believe that we should be so blessed that we could bless others. And I don't think we're blessed enough until we can bless somebody else and know that's our attitude. Is that all right? Is it okay? All right, I think that's about it. I'm going to bring Pastor back. Um, I just got a text. Oh, I'm sorry. Anisi, no, 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 who else? Uh -uh, where is she? Ida. Ida, so thankful. Just so $100 via Facebook, praying for finance, family, family finance, love, healing, and great health. Debt canceled, paid out home, and car repair, new car. Amen. Um, I'm trying to read. I'm Let's trying. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, she asked. Me. Oh, I know what I did. Okay, um, I just got a text. Pastor Damon said that they want to sow another five thousand dollars for opening both of the new daycares and to get the grant money. Amen. Okay, that's ten total. That's ten total. Yes. All right. Uh, okay. Heaven, love. We don't want to miss nobody. That's all. I'm sewing $25 cash out for a new home for my family. She said she didn't think she had much, but she wanted to sew something. Maybe I got Bible on it. That ain't what God's concerned with. He's, he, he's satisfied. Here's the thing. Here's the principle. Um, just the closer she put that on there. She said, I didn't think I had, had enough. Don't, don't ever look at the amount. Look at the sacrifice. Everybody's situation is different. Bible says... Someone could be given ten thousand. You could be given ten dollars, but it's more of a sacrifice for you than them. It's not equal giving; it's equal sacrifice. The only thing I would charge you to do, because you put that there, and anybody who's listening, just make sure that whatever you offer God, don't offer God anything that costs you nothing. That's Second Samuel twenty-four and twenty-four. I don't want to offer God anything that costs me nothing, because God has given me everything. I just don't want to leave without offering somebody a chance to have God as their savior to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior and to enter into the family of God. And then also, if you would like to be, rededicate your life to God and if you would like to be a member of this church, we are a loving family. We love you. We fight hard to help you know God personally and grow that relationship. 
And we ask that as you partner with us, as we fight to assist in your growth to God, that you partner in the vision and expanding to getting other people and their lives changed. God is so good. So if you're here, uh, you got, and somehow, some way, through the course of this service, you decide, I want to give my life to God. I want to rededicate my life to God. I want you to stand now. I don't think he's working. Okay. Then lastly, if you're here and you say, Pastor Matt, I want this to be my family. I'm ready to fight and let's grow together for the kingdom of God. You can stand now. They're moving the TVs out the way. I'm going to give you a moment. Salvation. Clap it up for these two as they stand. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. Welcome our new family members. Oh, y'all could do better than that if I'm family. We're getting ready to get out of here. But God is still adding. I heard several people pray and sow seeds for the expansion of the church, right? And I wanted you to see immediate fruit. Shayla, dear, it's okay. I'm going to be real good because y'all know I can go. But we just talked. I just prayed for y'all. But I just want to say, come on, get, get closer. Come on, you know, to each other, I mean, to each other. I just want to say, you have no idea what God's about to do for you. I'm t Quickly. Quickly. And you, sir, your yes is so important. But I believe and I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that that yes goes to a brand new level now. This woman has been patiently waiting on your yes. And I want you to tell you, she's only a small representation of all that God's going to do with that yes. You're going to show so many that there is another way, a better way. And that baby's her whole life is going to be different because you chose to say yes. I love y'all. I pray for y'all. Y'all know what it is, and we're going to build together. Can y'all clap it up for Shayla and Darius and family? I'm going to get out the way because I'll get in trouble. You can go right that way. They're going to get your information and make it happen. Can y'all celebrate our new family one more time? I think we set a new record for the time we got out of church, but this is a good thing. Maybe I'll make it up to you another week, but uh, if we all about the kingdom, y'all. Stand to your feet. That's all we care about. That's all we care about. We're going to get our timing and stuff, all that stuff, unless God say no, and then we're going to do what God say. Look at somebody and say, I'm happy to see you. Hmm. Look at somebody and say, a farmer sows seed because harvest comes from seed. God being God, there is not one seed that only produces one piece of fruit. And the last thing I'm going to say, and I'm praying I'm getting out of here, but if you don't have principle, you don't have life. You can find church or go to a party. You got to have principle. The thing about God is every piece of fruit, thank you, sir. Thank you, my man. Every piece of fruit that comes from a seed produces more seed. Don't forget that your fruit has more seed and you'll never stop having fruit. If you've gotten in late from the brother who reminded you, you gotten in late, you didn't get a chance to give God his tithe or pay your offering before, you did, before we did impact, you can come now and do that. Giving is personal and spiritual. We just want to give you a time, a second. If you got in late and missed the first tithe and offering moment, you could do that now. Thank you for that reminder. I appreciate you. That's true evidence of it being personal personal. I'm done. We good, Pastor? Um, don't forget Thanksgiving service. It's on Thanksgiving Day from 10 to 11. There's no preaching. We're just coming to say thank you for what God has done. Let's... Yes, ma'am. Please. And I want my wife to come pray, so come on. That's okay? Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, my... She's going to come pray, and then now you have to do it, because I called you before Mama told me. 
Can y'all clap for my wife, y'all, Lady TJ? Come on up here. I'm not going to say nothing because that we'll be here another hour. So here, but mom said we got to pray, pray corporately over the seeds as well. All right, can we just all come up to the front, please? Y'all know how we do. Come on in, come on in. Even though still tuning in online, thank you for hanging in there with us. time so that we can sow our seeds, so that we can believe with one another, so that we can stand in the gap for others as well. Uh, let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, how we just honor you for being our God. We thank you for the opportunity for the to be a part of your kingdom. We thank you for creating us, God, for giving us purpose in the earth, Lord. Father, I pray that you would bless every seed that was sown today, Lord. Every seed that has gone forth. You know the sacrifice, Lord. You know where our hearts are. You know where they were when we sowed the seed. So I pray that every seed is blessed. That, the, that our faith has grown today, Lord. That every seed that was named today will come to pass. From the healing to healing in relationships, from physical healing to, to marriages to our, their, our children, our men being covered, to businesses, to babies, for peace of mind. Lord, I just pray, God, that you would do those things, that you would allow them to come to pass, that even on next week when we're here for Thanksgiving service, Lord, that the testimonies will already begin to rain forth, Lord. So I pray, God, that you will continue to help us be strong in your word, Lord, to understand and exercise the, the will of you, Lord. I pray, God, that you would allow us, God, to, to continue to represent you in the kingdom, that we would do so, Lord, with integrity, God. I pray, God, that you would make us good stewards over the things that you give us, God, over our finances, over our homes, over our our cars over our relationships God but most importantly over the kingdom Lord so I pray for every man every woman every boy a girl represented here God I thank you for the lineage that will that will have success in it God I thank you for generational curses being broken Lord but we just thank you for what you've already done Lord we thank you that we already saw it happen when money just showed up out of nowhere today Lord I thank you God that you are already showing us that you are in control Lord so let us have faith Lord let us be obedient and unto what you call us to do, Lord, and let it all be for your glory. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that no seed, every seed that went forth will return in a harvest, God. So we thank you for it. It is so, Lord. Give us traveling mercies on our way home, Lord. Let us end the weekend um, in joy and in peace, God, and let us go forth in the rest of the week, Lord, being productive, being focused, being intentional, but most importantly, showing your love. So we thank you for what you do for us, God. We thank you for how you love us, cover us. I thank you for healing. I feel it in the room, God. I thank you, Lord, for success that's in the room and our businesses. I thank you for a career advancement that are coming this week, God. I thank you, Lord, for homes that will be purchased by the end of the year, God. I thank you, Lord, for the babies that are already in the womb, God. I thank you because it is so in Jesus' name. We thank you, God. It is so. You said you gave us power in our words, God. So we speak those things that be not as though they were because it is so, God. We thank you, Lord, for death and life is in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. It is so in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. You are dismissed. Amen. Thanksgiving service is on Thanksgiving Day, in case you didn't know. 10 o'clock, yes. Uh, really quickly, guys, there we're doing a choir. We're doing a choir, and it'll start rehearsing.